Yay, it's annual fall color time. I'm so excited. Going with a different color palette this year in the front yard. It's gonna be orange, white, yellow, with some Swiss chard. And the back is gonna be the blue and the mustard. Oops, scratch that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and plant these for a friend. He fell and broke his legs and he's wheelchair bound for the current time and he can't go anywhere, so let's plant up his backyard area with these gorgeous fall plants. Here we go. Hey, welcome to Salon Girl Gardens today. So I'm doing a little bit, something a little bit different today. I have a client that fell and broke his leg. And so I came to his house to cut his hair and I noticed all of his black flower pots were filled with dead plants and said, I, I said, Tim, let me come and plant these for you. So let me show you what I'm doing today. So all those planters with dead plants, I am replacing with Swiss chard, mizuna, or cabbage, and then underplanting with pansies. So all of those pots, these pots, I just did this pot. And then I had a very small planting area that he had in patience in. And so I ripped them out and I put in pansies and cabbages. So I did combinations of purple mizuna, cabbage, and Swiss chard in each of the pots, underplanted with yellow, white, orange, and blue pansies. Isn't this a fun backyard? You should see when the waterfalls are going. And if you can see over there, there's a, a swim up bar, which is pretty cool. We've got these two plants, planters rather. The purple mizuna will get really big and the Swiss chard will about double in its size. You've got this sweet little container on this ledge over here. And it's again, Swiss chard underplanted with bright, happy, pansy, yellow, orange, white colors. So it's swinging around over to the pool area, this side of the pool. We've got a pot of purple mizuna with pansies in it. And the purple mizuna will almost triple in size. And then in spring, it'll put off bright yellow flowers. It's pretty cool. This sweet little pot just has some pansies in it. I think this has got to be my favorite pot that I planted up. Look at that gorgeous color of the Swiss chard. Gorgeous and you can eat it. Now well, you can eat the pansies too. And then swinging over to the end ground planting area. Got the cabbages. and a bunch of yellow and white pansies. So all in all, gave this area a nice little pick-me-up for the fall winter season. And he didn't have to do it because he broke his legs. So there you go. I came back to my friend's house. Um, I got some more flats of flowers to plant in his front pathway. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And here are the flowers some more gorgeous pansies aren't they pretty huge blooms look at those blooms just huge so walking up on the pathway we're going to do the the left side and the right side this wasn't rocket science i just ripped out the impatience that were there and planted new pansies and there we go it's a nice gesture for somebody who's literally off of his feet right now with the house showing tomorrow so hopefully these flowers will be the right amount of cheer to make his house sell it's always nice to do something unexpected and nice for somebody so thanks for joining me at salon girl gardens today to watch me plant up this 
nice little thing to do for a client of mine. Um, I know it might not be super exciting video, but it was a nice thing to do. So I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Please hit that like button. It helps me in the algorithm. Thank you.